All right, so here we are back again with another tutorial. Um, I already started on a black and green skirt for St. Patrick's Day. So I'll show you what I've got so far. And I'll show you how I got here. So, from here, this waistband, as you can see, the stitches are slightly taller than these down here. Because uh, I want to work a belt through these. So these are a triple crochet stitch. And then of course I've got a color change right here to green for that round. <clears throat> so for a triple crochet stitch, I will show you how to do that. So for a triple crochet stitch, we'll start here. We'll wrap twice. One, two. We'll go through and pull through. And then you'll have four pieces of yarn on top of the hook. So you pull through one, pull through two, Pull through three. Now do it again one more time, and that's how it has all that height so you can work a belt through there. You can see how that's got a nice little space in there. You can also do that for like buttonholes when you're crocheting and things of that nature. So do this one more time. We'll wrap twice, we'll go through, pull through here. And then pull through two, one, and then we'll pull through, so you've got three here, so then you pull through two more, and then you'll pull through two more. So you pull through two stitches three times, which is one, two, three, or your triple crochet stitch. So, let me back up real quick and show you how to do a turn. So, you come to the end of your work on your row. And to keep it even, to make sure that you're going in the right direction, you push through here. So, on the top, you'll see you have two pieces of crochet yarn sitting up here and then of course one on the back so you push through like that so when you pull through as I mentioned in one of my other videos this is a slip stitch where you just pull through all the way slip stitch here one two three that's your height, four. That's your first stitch. And then you start your triple crochet again. We're not doing a triple on this round, so we'll go back down to three. So you'll have one, two, for your double crochet stitch, and then the top of your next row. One. And then pull one, pull two, double crochet. And then again, like that. Double crochet. So all these are getting double crocheted. Now, to create a flare on a skirt, I use one or two different patterns. I allow to go eight double crochets and then put in a V stitch or go 10 double crochets and put in a V stitch. So the least amount of double crochets in the V stitch gives you more of a flare. 
So if you want it to flare out real fast, of course, every five double crochets in a V stitch is going to flare out a lot more than every 10 double crochets in a V stitch. This one, I'm flaring at what I call an eight. So I'll do eight double crochets and then a V stitch, which is basically two double crochets in the same stitch. I'll show you one, two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then here's the V stitch. That's two double crochets in that same stitch right there. See what I mean? It's two double crochets in that spot and one in each of the rest of them. Now, what I also do to give it length, I do this V stitch pattern in every other row. So like if I count eight here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, there's no V stitch in this row. So this row is one for one. And as you can see here, this row beneath it has a double crochet stitch in it. So if we keep going, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a V stitch here, but there's no V stitch in this row. So you alternate rows. This rows get V stitches. This one doesn't. This row here gets V stitches. The next row doesn't. That'll create that long length and then that taper out that you want. All right, so let's see if I can get this skirt in view. So this is the green skirt that I was working on yesterday with that eight taper, as I call it, where every eight stitches you put in the V stitch to give it this flare, don't you see? So put a drawstring waistband in it for now until I can Get an actual belt to go through those triple crochet loops up top and then as i came down this is one row of double crochet and then two rows of a double crochet and then three rows of double crochet with that same taper to give it that effect got a flare and then you've got a pattern you know that you can work with so 
all in all, I think it's a pretty cute skirt. Um, of course, green for St. Patrick's Day. Now I have to come up with uh, some kind of top to go with it. Um, I'm thinking of more like a wrap top. Not sure yet. 